Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a drugstore get ready. This is stuff that I've just bought recently that I need to use and it's also stuff that I've had for a while that I just haven't used and I thought today I would bring it on out and do a look for you guys. So I just picked stuff randomly um, that I haven't used in a while and some stuff that I have used quite a bit of and I thought I would do a look with you guys today. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my face with the Prime and Fine Catrice Kills Pores. I got this like three weeks ago. I've used it a couple times, but I don't think I've used it on camera with you guys. I've heard good things about this. This was I think around $6. Um, so it wasn't breaking the bank at all either. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in the T-zone area. The red pigment spot is a little flaring up, but that's just because it's really hot out here and I went on a hike couple hours ago with uh, my dogs so all right so for eyes today I'm gonna use three different palettes or try to use three different palettes I don't really know how it's gonna work but we're gonna see I use a different powder that I haven't really used in a while because I've been loving this covergirl powder that just came out this is the vitalist healthy powder um, it dropped I think like a couple weeks ago I've been using it like really a lot but I thought I would use an old one too this is the Rimmel London stay matte I still love this and I've had it for quite some time um, but I'm gonna bring this out and use this instead of the cover girl today all right so first I'm gonna do the eyes first because I just don't want to deal with any fallout and some of these colors are really bright and vibrant like this is the made to matte Jewel Pop by e.l.f. This is like a really br pretty one. And then I got the Adorable by NYX that I haven't used at all. I've swatched a couple of them, but I haven't used them. I need to use that. And then this is the, I did a review on Eva Gustavo, Eva G. I'll put her name down at the bottom. This is it, Eva. I don't want to botch her last name. First, I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics V5. And I'm going to just use this shade right here. And this is going to be our base shade. But first, I probably should put some concealer down on the eyes. So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer today to prime the eyes. And I haven't used this in a really long time. So I thought I would bring it on out and see how it works. I'm just going to use my um, square sponge. I've been really loving using this again. I'm just going to bounce that in, kind of blend it out. So now I'm going to use this color right here at the front, the top, and I'm going to use that as just like a base shade to set the concealer because it is a really creamy base shade and it looks like my eye, so it's going to set the concealer. I think I'm going to go into this um, brown shade right here from the Adorable by NYX. This brown one. I'm going to use a Morphe. This is just a blending brush. There's no name, no number on it. So I'm just going to go into this one right here. Get it coated. And I'm going to put this in the crease. Okay, it's pigmented, definitely. It's a nice, good brown crease shade. Okay, so that one is done. That's when I use it. I'm gonna use this pink one right here. For under the lower lash line and see what happens. So this pink one right here I'm going to use for the lower lash line and see what happens. Okay, so. Not very pigmented. I'm like dug into it now. There's powder all over it. Okay, so not really pigmented on the face. Um, so I'll do the other side, but I don't think this is a good 
this is a good color. I mean, I'm gonna brush it. Yeah, there's no, that's not, that's not even pigmented. So just to be clear, I'm gonna do it on the other side as well, just to make sure it's even and everything, but. So this pink shade right here, no pigment whatsoever. It just blends out in the skin. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna, there's two shimmers in here. There's a dark brown one, and then there's like a champagne-y one. And oh wow, these suck. Okay, so you have this one and then you have this one down here. I don't know. It just doesn't feel pigmented enough for me. So I'm probably done with this. Not a good buy. Um, I don't know how much this costs. To be honest, it's a NYX, so I'm thinking it's maybe around nine, ten bucks because NYX is a little expensive. But um, this is a pass, a hard pass. This sucks. I've used maybe one one color shade that actually did work, but the pink one just did not go. It's not pigmented enough, and the shimmer shades when I swatched them, they were chunky, and they're just not pigmented enough. So I'm not gonna use that palette anymore. I think I'm gonna try to use the um, last two that I have, this one and this one. So use this orange one. Since I have orange colors in here, let's use this orange one down here. And I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line as well. Very orangey, very orangey. And we're just gonna put this on the lower lash line. Okay, it's definitely pigmented for sure. Pretty happy about the elf ones. Nick ones kind of were like a letdown. Okay, definitely pigmented. I like that. I'm gonna try and like put both of these oranges in both these palettes. So I'm gonna use the orange in this one too. Um, at the top, I don't know the color name. Uh, Passport, I guess it is, or maybe it's Malibu. No, I think it's Passport. We're gonna use both of them. I'm just kind of like dabbing in them. And then we're going to use them on the lower lash line. Okay, definitely pretty. Mountain stuff. And then I'm going to use this palette a little bit more. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, darker brown one to deepen out the crease on the outer just a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack it on and see what happens. Oh, definitely, definitely pigmented. Okay, so the one thing I hate about this um, collection is I don't like the packaging. I know it has a mirror, but like the mirror is like really tiny. You can't really see it. Um, but I don't like the packaging on this. I just think it's really cheapo. Um, maybe they're trying to cut costs. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. I definitely will have to blend this out quite a bit. So I know. Kind of just packed it on. I'm going to go in with that BH Cosmetics one. We're just going to go in circular motions and just blend it all out. I know. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this color called Malibu right here, the shimmer. I'm going to basically take a packing brush by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to pack it onto the lid. And then I'm going to go back in with that one that has the dark brown shade and we're just going to kind of blend them in a little bit together. I 
I think it looks pretty good so far. What I'm doing is I'm just really packing it on. There is a little bit of fallout, but I can clean that up later. So I did my eyes first. I'm gonna see if I can put some. This is the Milani Make It Dewy. I'm gonna put a little bit of that spray on there. Let's see if we can get this to like pack on like a lot more. There we go. Because it has quite a bit of fallout and it's driving me a little nuts. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that. Okay, so it is done, the eyes are done. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take a big brush and wipe away any of the powder or any excess stuff that fell off. Wet n Wild's cushions, I've been using this like all the time. I'm trying to get rid of it because I don't want it to expire and we're just gonna get rid of it. So we're gonna do the lavender all over the red, the, the lavender all over the red pigment spot, just kind of I have a acne blemish, so I'm gonna do some stuff over there, and then I'm gonna do the purple over the red spot. I think the lavender is for what? The lavender is for color correcting. Uh, neutralizes yellow and red undertones. So we're just gonna do some of the red, like a little acne spot right there. So we're doing that, and then we're gonna go on the peach one. This one is for the dark circles. And a lot of people don't like the Wet n Wild one. They don't like these cushion things. A lot of people actually like the cushion foundation that came out because the cushion thing actually comes on out. The yes or no. Then I'm gonna go into my Dream uh, Dream Matte Mousse by Maybelline New York. I'm just gonna use my sponge again. And it's like a mousse, so basically it's just supposed to be a foundation. Oh my God, I feel like this is like really, it was a bad idea. Look at how chunky it is, like all over my face. Can you see that? Like, we're gonna blend it on out as best as we can. Like, can you, hopefully it will like, Definitely better. Okay, we're good. We're good now. We're a little bit better. Now I'm just gonna tap so I don't have the lines everywhere. Then I'm gonna use concealer. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl concealer I already used. And we're just gonna conceal the bags, do the top, the nose. We're gonna definitely do the and we're definitely gonna get to do these. All right, I'm gonna blend this in with the sponge. Rimmel London Matte uh, Powder, and I'm going to set the under eyes. And we're just gonna set the rest of the face with this as well. Um, this is actually a really good powder. The foundation doesn't look bad. I'm, the face is all set. Um, I'm gonna go into my three triplet uh, Beauty Glazed by Hush. Um, I'm just gonna use my blush brush. I'm gonna go into the, the blush right here and very lightly tapping. We're just gonna go on the cheeks okay next I'm gonna go into the bronzer this is like a shimmer to it this is called oh the peach is called peach love this is called cinnamon so I'm gonna go into this for contour and we're just gonna get this all powdered up and we're just gonna go in circular motions
I use this brush because it's dense enough that it will go in like circular motions, but it will also give pigment. Um, see how that's like really, really pigmented on the side now? Well, all I gotta do is blend it on out and it really blends out easy enough. So now that I have like a little bronzy moment going on. I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose. Okay, um, so I stopped watching it a long time ago. I'm gonna go into both these highlighters right here in the middle. This one is called Forever Young and this is called Daydream. I'm just gonna go into both of them. Um, this is me. I'm using for uh, uh, Day Daydream. I'm using this in the corner of the eye and I'm using this as a brown shade as well. It's good to have like a highlighter shade and I'm using the Morphe, just a, just a small packing brush. So I'm going to go with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the Chocolate Collection, and this is called uh, Candyman. Alright, so I am done. I'm going to use the Milani Make a Dewy Setting Spray. Now, this I freaking hate. This is another one after I'm done with it I'm gonna pitch it it comes out too fast it's not a good sprayer like can you guys see that it's just too fast I don't like it so that's another one that's going in the trash after it's done so all right so this is the look so this is a look I came up with using all drugstore brands so um as always, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. And if you don't like me, I really don't care. This is what I like doing about makeup. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!